Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Thanks for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, I hope you find the video useful and helpful in your design making process. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much for coming back and watching and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated and it is what keeps me going. So thank you very much. Uh, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about the blend edge command. Uh, and this command is basically a fillet command, but uh, it offers a lot more opportunities and uh, useful. Uh, it's a lot more useful than just filleting. Uh, if you fillet the surface, you know, you go to fillet and you want to fillet a surface, just select uh, the first surface to fillet and then uh, hit enter. Oh, wait a minute. Select the first surface and then the second surface, is, and it'll give you your fillet, right? So let's back out of that. Uh, that's one way of doing it, but uh, you don't have really a lot of options uh, with it. So there's another command in here in your solids menu. Uh, and if you scroll down, uh, fillet edge, and you go to the blend edge command, okay? Now you can see that there's a lot of options that pop up down in your command line. So the first one we're gonna look at is just clicking on it, and it sh will show you that it's gonna fillet at a one millimeter edge. Uh, so the first command in the command line is show radius yes so you can click on that and it will not show uh, so if you're doing something that has a lot of them there's a lot of them up there and they're kind of getting in the way you can hide them uh, and keep on selecting other edges but uh, that just toggles on your uh, to show the uh, radius of what what you're doing there the next one is uh, next radius. So if you click on that, so right now I have it at a one. So if I click another one, it'll automatically put it at a one. But say I don't want it at a one. I want it at a little bit thinner or thicker uh, edge. So you click on that and you can type in, I'm gonna type in a 0.5 and hit enter. Uh, and then the next edge I select, it'll be a 0.5 a blend. Uh, so, and again, if I click on it, uh, if, uh, next radius, uh, click on a point uh, three and hit enter and then click on an edge, it'll change it to a point three. So you can uh, change the edges around however you want. Uh, that's you know, pretty cool actually. And then hit enter and if you hit enter again, it'll go ahead and give you the fillet. Now let me back up real quick, okay? And then I'll click on it and then click these edges. Uh, it, it's automatically putting it up at a point three because that's what I have uh, inputted on the next uh, thing. So I'm just going to put that. Uh, so right now I cannot see any of the fillet, right? It's not updating as I go. But right here, preview in that same line, uh, if you click that on uh, to yes and hit enter, you're able to see the updates a as as you do them. So now I can actually go in here. Uh, it's hard to see, but it, it changes to a little plus sign on the dot that you're going to change. And you can drag it and it'll update automatically. So you can see in real time uh, how that curve is being affected. So you can go through and manipulate them as you, you want. Alright, so that's another one. So I'm just going to hit enter on that for right now. And I'll uh, right click to bring back the command and uh, chain edges. Chain edges is nice. Uh, you can click on a, a edge and then you can select the next edge, next edge, next edge. Uh, find the edge you want and then the last edge right here. Hit enter, hit enter. You can see the updates and then enter. So uh, chain edges. Uh, and the next one, uh, face edges, which is a lot better for something like this. So if you click on face edges and I click that face, it'll select all those edges on that face. And then I hit enter and it'll automatically fillet those edges, uh, which is really cool. Uh, if I click on it, uh, you can click on the edges here. You can go down here and type a different number hit enter and then now they're going to add different name and hit enter enter and it'll update as you go uh, which is pretty cool so uh, yeah you got to be careful you want to do these first and then those uh, so if I back out all this really what you want to do on something like this what you will want to do is select these first
hit enter update it and then go in and do a, a face a edge type thing hit, hit enter and it'll jack it all up for you <laughs> that's really too much to that's abort that uh, but you can you want to do the edges on the outside first so let's do that again real quick so we don't want it at a once and I'll show another command here so right now we have it all one we know it's going to really jack it up right so uh, we come down here and let's see oh first hit enter uh, now we can kind of see our update because it's on preview yes and then I can go to uh, where's it at set all okay now I can type in any number that I want to set it at so I type in a point three hit enter and it'll update them all to a point three let's do that again set all uh, to a point uh, two enter and now it'll change them all to a two and then hit enter uh, and it'll flay them as a two and then let's go back and click on these edges here oh, okay so that's what we didn't do last time I should just select the face would have been a lot easier go through here hit enter and you can see your update right away and hit enter and if you look now the the curves just uh, a little bit better uh, than doing this one first and then the other one uh, so ju that's just a mental note uh, let's go ahead keep moving forward let's see uh, faces that's just uh, click on the whole face hit enter enter and it'll do the all at one time right click uh, preview you want yes let's click on that one hit enter now uh, when you hit enter and it's uh, showing you the preview first of all let's change that to a set all and we'll change it to a one so we can see real good uh, and show radius uh, add a handle so you can click on add a handle you can add handles uh, there 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 if you wanted to uh, and then you can hit enter and now you can go in there and manipulate them smaller or whatever uh, and then hit enter so you can do that uh, previous line commands so if I go in here I select all these and hit enter well, back out of that abort abort so let's go in here click on here hit enter there's one and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, add a handle right here right here and right here and I'll hit enter and I'll make this one a little smaller and make this one a little smaller and hit uh, okay and then next command add a handle copy a handle so if I wanted to copy this one I just click on it and now I can oh hit enter and then I well click on it alright so let's copy the handle select handle to copy that's this one and now I can move it down the line add more to it if I wanted to and hit enter and it'll update it <laughs> let's abort that okay so let's go back hit enter so you can copy handles or we don't want to oh, copy this one's fine we'll drag it over click there hit enter uh, you can also remove handles so if you don't like that one there you can just get rid of it uh, hit enter uh, okay uh, set all now uh, when I say set all right they were 1.0 millimeter uh, blend right so now in the command line I can actually just type in what I want uh, so 0.5 and they'll change it to 0.5 so let's uh, let's go ahead and hit enter on that let's take right click I'll click this one this one this one this uh, and this one here and hit enter okay so now they're all at 0.5 but I want them all changed to a different number right so I click on it and type in a point a 3 and hit enter now it changes them all to a point 3 so you can change all of them if you want hit enter uh, let's keep moving forward let's see where's me another edge there yeah, I'll hit enter changes face edges previews edit you can edit it uh, Add a handle, copy handle, set all linked uh, handles, link handles. First, let's um, let's copy a handle here, 
and we'll just copy this one and drag it here and here right uh, and then let's say I hit enter and I want to manipulate that one and I want to manipulate that one so I got something like that right uh, but they're not linked right so if I link them now if I select one handle and move it they all will change the same distance as the one that I moved so you're able to go in and change the distance uh, where they're linked or you can take it off link and you can change the distance individually okay so that's another one uh, rail type we'll get to that in a second uh, select edges you can just click on that and select more edges oh I don't have any edges to select they're all filleted looks like let's just take this one and hit enter and it will give you that which we don't want so let's back out of that uh, actually let's just get rid of these for right now and let's just get another box out there so we can kind of work with that and I'll get rid of that alright so let's go back to our fillet uh, blend edge and click on a blend edge blend edge we'll blend this one blend this one blend that one that one and hit enter and I have the preview on if I turn it off I won't be able to see the preview um, what else do we have in here like the uh, trim oh uh, trim yes you kind of always usually want to have that unless you're going to try and use the surface to get a certain type of blend and then uh, use that blend and what I what I mean about it mean is uh, let's bump these up so let's set all and I can type in let's type in a one and hit enter and that's a little too much so let's go back uh, go in here uh, hit enter okay there we go um, and now I'm going to turn this off okay so it says no so now it just gives me that edge but maybe you want to do some kind of design work with just that edge so you can make a surface do the blend around it and just use the edge if you want to uh, but m most of the time you'll probably just want to keep that on uh, so that you can you know it'll automatically join and trim everything at the same time so now it's closed poly surface it's ready to go for whatever you want to do um, what else we got in here let's see select some edges changes edit okay we'll hit enter oh I turn that we'll turn this trim it on oh too much distance so we'll select that delete it select that delete it uh, let's go back click on this edge this edge not a one let's change it well first let's hit enter and then let's ch set all to a point uh, two and hit enter there we go now we can see a little bit better all right uh, what else we got in here uh, copy handle we did select all link handles yes no right now they're not linked so if I take one and move it it'll just move one if I link them together uh, it'll move all of them uh, and we'll back out of that abort command uh, and we'll get rid of that piece there okay um, let's get it out again okay let's just get rid of that real quick because there's something I want to show that selects them all and you can do them all at one time which is pretty cool uh, so let's see let's get a surface uh, no a solid box and I want a little thicker this time so you can see what this one does uh, and we'll go back to our fillet edges blend to edges and we'll select uh, this one just right here and we'll make it a uh, little bit uh, thicker actually edit so edit we'll take it to a uh, one millimeter and hit enter uh, select objects to edit oh, okay well do it again just like that ah. okay let's just go to uh, next Copy radius spell link. No, no, not link. Uh, let's back out of that. I want. Let's do face. All right, and hit enter. 
and let's see I want to show it next radius chain edges basically hit enter and then I want to set all at one and hit enter so now they're all at one okay uh, actually let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see a little bit better uh, set all set all let's make it a two let's see if that'll work yeah there we go okay um, and we'll hit enter okay uh, this this command here uh, we'll hit enter uh, set all one enter okay uh, rail type uh, distance from edge okay distance from edge it's it's kind of hard to explain but the distance from edge is um, let's see here uh, the distance between the edge rails so uh, this edge and that this edge this edge here and that edge there it'll take a di certain distance and run it down uh, lengthwise right uh, and the other one is there's two more uh, rolling ball so a rolling ball is like having a ball here and then it just rolls down the edge and keeps that like one quarter of the ball all the way down uh, and then the last one is distance between rails and you can see it changes so the distance between uh, the two rails will, will change the effect so there's three different ways that you can change it there I guess is what I'm trying to say uh, and uh, then you can hit enter so you can also select the whole thing uh, click on it uh, right click bring the command and it'll set them all and then you can just hit it and if you uh, let's abort that let's get rid of that grab me another box here real quick you can bring back the command blend edges select the whole thing and it'll automatically select them all uh, and then hit enter and it will j there you go it'll automatically do them all at one time which is pretty cool alright uh, so there you go it's kind of a lot there in that video you'll just kinda have to go through and play around with each command to get a good uh, get good uh, grip of how it uh, how it works but it's uh, a lot better in my personal opinion than if you just do the the fillet command uh, you know one at a time you, sometimes you just never know what you're going to get like that right there right so if I back out of this and I go to my solids and go to the fillet edge command blend edges and I select that edge and that edge and hit enter it boom you're done no problems uh, no extra work uh, so I hope the video helps uh, if it does please uh, like subscribe uh, appreciate that and uh, comment below uh, thanks for watching and uh, good designing